Hi, this is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. I'm going to show you how to create a soft romantic photo portrait from a snapshot. For your convenience, I provided this image that you could use. Its link is in my video's description or project files. Feel free to use another photo if you like. It could be color or black and white. Before we begin, if you want to know as soon as I upload new Photoshop tutorials, just click that subscribe button and welcome. The first step is to crop our photo and set its resolution. Open your Crop tool and Crop Presets. Click Width, Height and Resolution. Click the Clear button to clear the fields. For its resolution, let's type in 300 for its pixels per inch, so our photo will be as sharp as possible if we decide to print it. In this example, I'll type in 8 inches for its width and 10 inches for its height. However, feel free to type in a different size for your photo. Drag the crop's bounding box in or out to frame the photo. You could also drag the photo as well. When you're happy with the way it's cropped, Press Enter or Return twice. To see your entire image, press Ctrl or Command and the minus or plus key on your keyboard, or you could just press Ctrl or Command 0 to fit it onto your canvas. Open your rectangular marquee tool and drag it over a portion of your subject that you'd like to apply the motion blur filter to. Press Ctrl or Command J to cut and copy the portion of the subject that's inside the selection. We'll convert it into a smart object so we can modify it non-destructively. To do this, click the icon at the upper right and click Convert to Smart Object. Go to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. The angle is 0 degrees and the distance is 100 pixels. Then click OK or press Enter or Return. In addition, I'd like to use the motion blur filter on the left side of my subject as well, but I don't want to blur the skin. To do this, I'll make my subject active and open the lasso tool. I'll drag the tool over the portion I want blurred and avoid touching the skin except for this area since the clothing is almost touching the skin. I'll cut and copy that portion of the subject inside the selection and go back to Filter, Blur, and Motion Blur. This time I'll blur it 50 pixels. We'll convert our visible image into a smart object by making the top layer active and shift clicking the bottom layer to make all the layers active. Then convert them into one smart object. Go to Filter, Blur Gallery, and Iris Blur. I did an in-depth tutorial on this filter, so if you want to watch it, I provided its link as well. Drag the center pin over the area we want to remain in focus. Rotate the blur ring clockwise or counterclockwise to increase or decrease the blur. I'll increase it to 74. We can adjust the shape and angle of the blur by dragging any of the ellipse handles. There are four feather handles that indicate where the blur starts. Basically, the blur is feathered between the feather handles and the ellipse handles. Notice that when we drag one of the feather handles, all of them move at the same time. However, we can also drag them independently by pressing and holding Alt or Option as we drag a handle. For this image, I'll stretch out the blur shape to encompass more of this subject and drag the feather handles out to keep more of the subject's face, neck, and shoulders in focus. Then I'll individually drag each of them to finesse where I want the blur to begin. Then I'll click OK. Go to Filter, Distort, and Diffuse Glow. The glow amount controls how bright the glow is 
and the clear amount determines how much of the image is covered by the glow. We'll leave the graininess at zero since we don't want to add any grain to our photo. I'll make the glow amount 1 and the clear amount 15. Next, we'll add a soft vignette around the inside perimeter of our photo. Go to Filter and Camera Raw Filter. Open Effects and in Vignetting, type in minus 50. Lastly, we'll add a color lookup preset. I'll explain what it is in a second. Click the adjustment layer icon and click color lookup. Click load 3D LUT. LUT is an acronym for lookup table. 3D lookup tables are used in the film industry to map one color space to another. It's a kind of color filter you use to alter the colors in your image. For this image, I'll apply candlelight.cube. This is Marty from Blue Lightning TV. Thanks for watching.